Thanks for downloading Smart Receipts, and welcome back to our video series. This is the second video, so if you are new to the app, be sure to go to the first video in our series before watching this one. In this video, we will cover adding receipts to the expense report we created in the last video. Inside the report folder, you will see four tabs on the bottom row. The first is for tracking receipts, and the second is for tracking distance, such as mileage. When the receipt tab is highlighted, you can tap on the plus button to create a new receipt within the folder. You will see multiple options. We offer both taking a photo of the receipt with the camera, as well as importing a photo of the receipt from your gallery. You can also import PDF files as receipts, as well as track just raw receipt data without attaching any file via the text only option. Let's pick a photo from our device's gallery. After you select your photo, you might see a crop screen, which can be disabled in the settings. After selecting your final image, you will be allowed to enter the details of the receipt. Let's say my receipt was a business lunch. I might put the name of the restaurant as the receipt name, and then choose meal or lunch as the category. I'll put the price and the date in, and any other details that I think are relevant to the purchase, such as whether it's reimbursable or not, and what type of currency it's in. While here, you can also note if this receipt should be a full page image. When you generate a PDF report, any receipts that are marked as full page image will take up an entire page on your PDF. By default, receipt images are printed in a 2x2 two two grid on PDF reports, so any receipts that are not marked as full page image will be shrunk down to a quarter of the page. We also have some hidden options such as tax and payment methods that you can turn on via the settings menu. After that, you can tap in the top right to save the receipt. This takes you back to the tab screen where you can now see the newly created receipt in the list. If you entered any incorrect details, you can tap on the receipt and then choose Edit Receipt to update it accordingly. You also have options to move or copy this receipt to another report folder, delete the receipt, or remove the receipt attachment. Continue adding receipts to this report folder for as long as you need to. In the next video, we will show you how to generate your report of receipts into a compact file for sharing with other individuals. Don't forget that if you have any questions regarding this video or anything else within Smart Receipts, you can refer to our website, www.smartreceipts.co, where we have a user guide, or you can contact us via email at support at smartreceipts.co.